This week I'm doing a taste test of milkshakes, or in this case thick shakes, from McDonald's and Hungry Jack's, Burger King, uh, courtesy of Janet Kay in the Netherlands, who has been a long-time supporter of the channel. So thanks, Janet, and a reminder to everybody else to send in those requests, because there's all sorts of things to compare and weigh up. Okay, let's just go inside and do that very thing. Weigh them and compare them. First thing to take account of is the price. Extreme difference, $3.45 for McDonald's. Hungry Jack's $1.20. The McDonald's is nearly three times the price of the Hungry Jack's, both the same size. So let's see how much they weigh. The McDonald's is just over 200 grams. And the Hungry Jack's is exactly the same, just over 200 grams. So they both weigh the same amount. Now I notice on their websites that they seem to be claiming that they should be about 300 grams. Now I'm going to check that one out a bit further. But at the moment it seems they're way under in weight of what is claimed to be there. Taste-wise... They're both thick shakes. They're, to get them out of a straw is hard to do. <laughs> but I suck hard. Very nice. I, I like them. I like them. Well, I like the McDonald's. Sweet flavour. The Hungry Jacks looks more like a soft serve ice cream that's just a bit more soft than it would normally be in a cone. And it tastes like that too. It's very foamy. Um, yeah, I prefer the McDonald's one. But there's a lot of conjecture about what is in these things. And, I, and my plan is to let them sit here for 24 hours and see what happens to them. I believe they're going to reduce in size quite a bit. Here we are 24 hours later. And this is what we're left with. They have shrunk down quite a bit. Actually, not as far as what I was expecting. I was thought they might go down further than that. And you can see that they're both quite runny. No longer thick shakes, more like a milkshake. I've checked the websites, and if you do the math on what they claim, then these should be about 300 grams. But I somehow think that their tables are incorrect and uh, are just represented wrongly. So I think 200 grams is what you're going to get every time. As far as the McDonald's thick shake goes, it is a very high kilojoule or calorie count and it is possibly their most fatty food. It rates right up there with their huge hamburgers, the largest of their hamburgers uh, and whatever else they sell that's fatty. So if you're on a diet, you stay away from the thick shake. Don't go near it, it's a bit of a heart attack in a drink. I'm convinced that the Hungry Jacks is just their soft serve ice cream uh, watered down, more air added, I don't know how they do it but it's just so much like ice cream and like soft serve ice cream that uh, I think Margaret Thatcher would be very happy You have to watch one of my other videos to get the Margaret Thatcher connection it's soft serve Price is just a total mystery for because a dollar twenty to three dollars forty-five, I don't get that. Maybe McDonald's argue they've got more content in here. Um, whether it's just pricing structure to get more of the market, who knows? But that being three times that doesn't make a lot of sense. In summary, I am amazed at the difference between these two. The McDonald's is definitely more milky. This one's more ice creamy. The pricing is just strange. And if you're on a diet or wanting to maintain some level of fitness, then you pretty much stay away from both of them, especially the McDonald's. So, alright guys, remember to keep those subscriptions rolling. Thumbs up and like the video. And uh, next week I'll have something again for you to have a look at in regard to taste test and reviews.